Welcome to the third part of a three-part series on how do we work with additional surfaces on multi-story buildings and in this part we're going to now look at how to put valley trusses underneath that section. The top and the bottom part, the normal trusses there, we won't look at that but that's pretty straightforward and you can accomplish that with automated features. So we will look at this because the software will not automatically add frames underneath this valley section for you. I'm going to jump back to layout and then from here we're going to input frames in here. So from the top we're going to look at our manual framing zones. We're going to choose valley and we're going to choose single surface Remember that's only one surface here and then it asks you to select the roof surface. So here I'm going to click on that surface there and you can see it's been selected and then the software now asks you to specify a point for the side gable, right click or enter to select the top gable surface. So if we right click we the software will automatically select that surface there for us. So we can do that or you can press enter. So I'm going to right click and then it asks us to click on the surface under the valley and it will be this one. Then it will ask you to specify a delimiter point and again we're going to run it off this side so if you inside the surface it will basically lock onto the surface there with a blue line. If you want to use the wall just get out of the surface onto the wall and you can see now if I lock onto this internal wall here it's green and then it tells me that it's a wall so I'm going to choose that and the software then adds in these trusses for us and you can see there it tells you it's an overlay value. You still then have your properties on the right hand side and then you can here from the drop down choose how would you like to run your trusses if you want to run it from the top or the bottom doesn't really matter and that's dependent on the choice that you want to make what we want to have a look at at this one I'm going to leave it to run from top but you now can see that valley 4 here has been placed incorrectly so what we want to do is to move it outwards so that it has got a maximum of a 50 millimeter offset to the wall and then we must really need to trim it back on the front here as well. So I'm going to press home just to get out and I'm going to press escape to get rid of the tool there. Okay. You will now notice that if you want to move this, you right click, you can see that you do not have that option available. The reason for that is, is that this valley truss is still part of your overlay valley framing zone. You have an option to switch your framing zones to either be automatic or manual. And what we're going to do for this framing zone is we're definitely going to want to change this automation level back to manual. Doing that gives you the option to handle the trusses inside this framing zone on their own. And you will now see if I choose Valley 4 that I now will have a right click option to move that. So first of all I'm going to just do it in two steps just to make it clear. So first of all I want to move it from that point there and I just want to move it out which will get it against the wall. Okay, And then you want to mostly give it a gap of 50 millimeters in this example. So I'm going to select this again. Remember you can do this in one step by all means. I'm going to right click and again I'm going to choose move and then I want to move it from that point. I'm dragging this way and I'm going to type 50 and enter. And there we go. Now we're just going to have a look at the bottom and you can now see that it hasn't trimmed it against this valley line. That's not too difficult so you're going to select the truss, right click, I'm going to choose trim and I choose the valley line to trim against and there we go. Pressing home and let's zoom in on that section there just to have a look at it and you can now see that that's what we've got.
I'm just going to press F9 to build. And then I'm going to press F3 to have a look in our 3D view. And let's zoom in on that section. This was the last part of a three-part series on how to work with multi-story buildings, adding additional surface, and then also framing underneath that surface. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next videos.